Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is now time for me to harvest my regrow salary. Why do I say regrow? With the ends of the organic store-bought celery I purchased I would cut the bottom part off and set it in water and reroute it. And this is what I was able to produce as a result of that. If you look at my previous videos where I show how to reroot or regrow your celery base and plant them, I went through the entire process. And that was in either May or June. It is now mid-October and I am ready to harvest this celery. This is the first time I've done this and I'm really excited with the success. I planted one in a container, a beer barrel, and I planted this in a long container. For those gardeners who think that they don't have a lot of space to grow food, I wanna tell you, if you can find containers like this, or containers like this where I'm growing my broccoli, a container like this, or a container like this one, you can pretty much grow anything. Don't let limited space keep you from doing container gardening and growing crops in containers. And as you can see, I did both. Now, this celery seemed to grow a little larger, and I don't know if it's because of the space that's in this particular container as opposed to this one where I grew it in a smaller container. What I did realize in with both these containers, this needed more watering. There are times I could see it wilting, I had to water it. I didn't do a whole lot of watering with this because it was able to hold the moisture in the soil. I had more soil, it could hold the moisture a lot better. The environment is perfect because it's in a shaded area, it's in a cool area, it grew all summer. This one had to be watered a lot more. So going forward, I think it'd be probably better if I put my celery in larger containers so I don't have to water them as much. Celery does require a lot of watering. They like to have their soil moist and they are heavy feeders. So when considering growing celery in containers, based on this experiment, I seem to get a much bigger celery in the larger container as opposed to the smaller container. And I noticed that this container required less watering than this container, but nevertheless, they both did a good job. Now, and I have a paper over the bottom of the celery, and that's called blanching. There are two ways you can blanch celery. You could just put a paper covering over it, or some people like to heal it up like this. Now they do have some cultivars now where you can buy celery, you can purchase the celery or buy the seeds where it does its own self blanching and you don't have that problem. In this particular case this was regrowing celery from an organic celery stock and so I went on ahead and blanched it by putting the paper um, wrapped around it on both of them as opposed to healing them up. So I'm going to go ahead and take the paper off this particular one and as you can see the stalk in the center it's, yeah, it's light color so that's what they mean by blanching and plus it makes the um, the actual stalks are much much sweeter less bitter and um, a little tastier. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one up. Wow, this is, look at that. Whoa! <laughs> look at that. That is pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this off like this. And this is what you do. You just shake it off. And then what I'll do I will go ahead, I, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off too because 
I was trying to, I can't find my, um, so this is my celery right here. And it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that there and then I'll cut this at the base. So I'm gonna do the same with this one here and see what happens. Again, this is my first time growing regrow celery. And I'm gonna pull the, oh look at that blanched really nice. And I'm gonna pull this up. Wow, this is, oh look at this. The whole pot came out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get the soil all out from around it. And there we go. There you have it. So this is a smaller stock, as you can see. This is a much smaller stock. And I think that's because it was grown in this particular container, as opposed to this one here. It's a much larger stock. So to um, continue with uh, the success of regrowing celery, I know now I would not use a small container, but I would continue using the larger container. So there you have it. Regrowing celery. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.